have a few bottles that I've had for a while and that I either found them to be disappointing or somewhat not quite right when I opened them at first. Um, now it's sometime later and so this week I'm going to talk about four different whiskies that have changed or that I'm just sort of sad to say goodbye to. One of them that has changed is this. This is the Stock and Barrel Red Blend Whiskey. And I suppose this could represent all the whiskeys that I have from Stock and Barrel, as I have three others. I have another one that's called, uh, that, that's 100% rye. I have another one that's a single malt. And I have another blend. The blends are bottled at 43% alcohol by volume, and the, uh, the, the rye and the single malt are bottled at 46 Oh, well, that's, that's a bit much, but okay. I have a little bit left after this drum. What it is about this whiskey is I didn't really find it, or all the stock and barrels, I didn't find to be as good as I was expecting. I was expecting, I thought that they were kind of, kind of harsh and kind of young. But uh, giving them time to open up, as it's been about six months since I've opened all of them, time and air have been kind to this drum. I get a beautiful spicy rye note to begin with. Beautiful and spicy, intense. This isn't covered over by anything. This is just rye, right? Spicy, right there. Full flavor, full flavor, spicy, loads of caramel some vanilla but a lot of caramel and toffee and it's quite viscous feeling for something that's only 43 percent alcohol by volume this is just super delicious it's got a nice nose nice intense nose but not overpowering just right Sometimes it's interesting to try whiskeys from different regions, ones that are not available where you live. And I'm thankful that I was able to make some trades with people who lived in Ontario to obtain the four bottles of stock and barrel that I've received. Yeah, time and air have been kind to this one. Cheers. Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>